let's go. Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the auspicious placement of our Kipper card. I'm going to jump straight in, no preamble. We know our Kipper cards have our male and our female version. Regardless of which way they're looking in your deck, we always read the auspicious placements ahead, so in front of their faces. If we want to do an auspicious read, that means what the fortunate outcomes will be. We lay the cards directly in front of her nose. This means that whatever lands in front of her will be manageable. It doesn't mean that they're going to be fortunate because obviously sorrow here in this read is a negative card um, or a stress card, but it means the sorrow is lessened. So it's stress of a lesser nature. So again, if you're male character then he would be read from the opposite direction in his line of sight so the positive or the auspicious whoops or easily manageable cards for him will be in front of his nose so the day ahead for our main character are three cards that would then be read in uh, we can do this attitude so in front of him again are the positive cards or the cards he can manage why do we learn this early on in kipper we learn it because it's important in our gts when we come to do the gt the gross tafel the grand tableau the big um spread with all the 36 cards then we need to know our auspicious placements and our inauspicious placements because that's the basis of a good kipper read so if we look at the uh directions now of the ass kipper deck we are now looking for her auspicious day house child and marriage so whatever happens in her day then will be uh, manageable she can do this these are her okay let's do this this is a direct line of sight so these are direct happenings and we start to read from the card that is closest to her that's very important this is the first happening in the day the house and then it moves on to child and um, state of marriage we do look at our directions our connector cards of course as well to see what that adds to the read but this is the main focus of her day with it being the closest to her every step away is a little less important to her however they will give you more information on this first storyline so let's have a look at the main dude. This is a good example of a card uh, with directions being shown. We have the main focus in his day. It's going to be good lady. But there is going to be some wrongness in the day our dishonest person and we will take into account her cause and effect nature and number 15 is the cause of the wrongness so then that then has an effect on this good lady so that gives you more information about the day but we have started with her and then we've taken movements into consideration or directionality into consideration so that's the basics of it. We need our man and our lady. Go ahead, practice those, put things into an auspicious reading so you can read the line of sight, the direct happenings in the day for your querent. If that's you, that's you. Post them in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, the next video will be about our inauspicious placements and what that means to our queries. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.